Now at five, sources tell the WBZ I-Team Patriots owner Robert Kraft will not take the plea deal Florida prosecutors have offered him. Kraft is maintaining his innocence in a Florida prostitution sting. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Wade. The deal offered to him would have required Kraft to admit that he would have been proven guilty at trial. WBZ's chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, is here now with more. Cheryl? Well, David, Lisa, sources tell the I-Team Kraft won't accept the plea deal that requires him to admit that he'd be found guilty at trial or provide a statement that he knew about illicit activity at the spa. Patriots owner Robert Kraft charged with solicitation of prostitution at a Jupiter, Florida massage parlor in January. Jordan Wagner represents 15 other men charged in the case and says it's not that cut and dry. We all want to look at the evidence, uh, the affidavits that enabled these officers to get a search warrant to surreptitiously uh, record everybody, which to us is a, an extreme invasion of their privacy. But, they're alleging is that it was money exchanged for sex. What we know right now is that it was money exchanged for a massage. Investigators say they have video showing the 77-year-old twice exchanging money for sex. The I-team obtained a copy of the prosecution plea deal sent to Kraft and the other men. Wagner says most of it is standard except for two provisions. In particular, you know, a defendant having to provide a sworn statement about their knowledge of what happened there. Uh, this kind of allocution where they would say that they would be proving guilty at trial. Kraft has pleaded not guilty to the charges as to whether his celebrity will make it more difficult for him to negotiate more favorable terms, Wagner told us. I don't know what their stance is going to be in these cases. Uh, I have a feeling they may have a you know, take it or leave it type of stance uh, until maybe other things come about through litigation. Well, Kraft could also face sanctions from the NFL, but so far the league has not taken any action. David? All right, Cheryl, thank you.